Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day this video finds you. It's your boy Jay here. And today, today I want to talk about the future of Monster Hunter once again, as I will be doing uh, regularly as, you know, Rise and Sunbreak is coming to a close here. Still have the bonus title update out ahead of us, but um, yeah, let's talk about the future. So what I want to talk about today is um, a future Monster Hunter title. It doesn't necessarily have to be the next title coming up. I just want to see something um, kind of expanded on in a future Monster Hunter game, whether that's two games, three games. This is just something I was thinking about, and uh, it kind of dawned on me, and I was like, hold on. Why, why isn't Monster Hunter doing this? So, uh, yeah, what we're going to be talking about is bugs. Not, not wire bugs. We already did that. We, we did that a while ago. Bugs in general, right? So as you can see, I'm fighting a Pyrachnikodaki right now. Um, and that is in a class of monster called Temnasarin, right? Let me read the list of all the Temnasarins uh, in mainline Monster Hunter. Rachnikodaki, Pyrachnikodaki, Nursilla, Shrouded Nursilla. That's it. A whopping four monsters that kind of look like spiders. What? There are so many different types of spiders and so many things you could do with a spider that it's kind of crazy that like we only got four of them, huh? That's that's interesting, right? Also, another um, main monster class that I want to talk about that is inspired from insects, Neopterons, right? Now, we have quite a bit of little Neopterons, but I'm talking big Neopteron monsters, all right? Let's read that list. We got Celtis and Celtis Queen, Desert Celtis. Desert Celtis Queen, we've got the Vespoid Queen, and we've got Atalka. I might be forgetting one. No, I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. So those are all the Neopterons uh, in Monster Hunter, which, you know, uh, is a class based on insects, you know, giant insects. So I'm like, man, there are so many, so many different types of insects, you know, in the actual world, in the real world that we live in. How is it that so few have been, you know, inspired to make Monster Hunter monsters? So that's something I kind of want to see in a future Monster Hunter game. I want to see uh, a Monster Hunter game greatly expand the Neopteron and or Temnasarin class. And I've got a few ideas uh, for some monsters that, you know, we could see in the future. Plus, I kind of want the flagship to be a Neopteron. You know what I mean? Like, I think it would be really cool to have a Neopteron flagship as we haven't had that yet. So sit tight relax maybe grab your drink i'm gonna have uh me fighting you know various neopterons and temnasarins on screen but for the most part i mean there will be one little section where the visuals are important but for the most part you can just sit back lick, listen throw your headphones in and uh listen to this kind of a one-man podca podcast style so yeah without further ado let's dive into it all right so I discussed how I wanted a Neopteron flagship, right? A, a flagship monster that's a bug. And when I first had this idea, when this idea first came to me, I really thought like, bro, why don't we have a giant ant-like monster, like a big ant, right? Some hexapodal thing that's kind of low to the ground and it crawls around. But the thing is, Monster Hunter kind of already has a giant ant monster. It's just not a large monster. It's just not a big monster. And that monster is Ultaroth, right? Now, the way ants work, right? They they work in a colony, and there's workers, and then there's like the queen, and I think there's like a middle there's like a middle ant, right? Who's a little bit bigger, like a soldier ant type deal. You know what I'm saying? So Alteroths are, you know, they're pretty tiny, and they're always like gathering like the little plants and bugs and juices or whatever. Those could be the worker ants, right? So then the flagship could be the bigger, more threatening, like soldier ant, right? big old Alteroth looking monster of course we're gonna make changes to it we're gonna make it more threatening we're gonna make it bigger um right and i guess for a tentative name we'll call it an Alter Wraith, right like instead of Alteroth, Alter Wraith. you know what i'm saying like it's, it's big it's powerful it's strong it's scary the Alter Wraith, you know what i'm saying like that could be um the next flagship it's a big old Alteroth looking monster right and it being the flagship it's gonna pop up uh maybe the story could be like yo the the Alteroths and the Alterates have shown up where they're not supposed to be. They're messing with the environment. We got to go out there. We got to take it down. And we fight multiple Alterates throughout the story um, because, you know, it's it's an infestation. You know what I'm saying? These these ants are not where they're supposed to be. And then maybe the end, right, like the big the big boss or whatever uh, could be an Alterate queen, which would be that monster. Um, 
just uh, with different dimensions, right? Like maybe like a bigger thorax, wings, and it flies around, but it's still hexapodal, right? So it's got eight limbs that you could break. You could break all six legs, you could break the wings, you could break the head. I think it could be dope. I think it could be dope that, you know, you keep hunting down these altar rates throughout the game, and then, you know, you, you, you show up at a big bad showdown, and then you gotta fight the queen, right? And then after you fight the queen, there's some mysterious secret boss that whatever whatever no one knew you, you know how a monster hunter story is you know what i'm saying it'll still be a monster hunter story but you know that's just kind of a little bit of, of what i think uh could you know go down you know what i'm saying and for this ant monster um let's have it be you know n not a chump so to speak but like i don't need it to be super powerful but let's have them be paralyzed element right because we we don't have a lot of good paralysis representation when it comes to the series right and i want some some good high level paralysis uh reps that could be a great flagship you know what i'm saying so uh yeah we're gonna have a paralyzed giant Alteroth and Alter well Alter Wraith is the thing I'm calling it. Alter Wraith Queen. Uh you know and, and they could be paralyzed element and because you know how bug bites get, you know what I'm saying? They got a little venom that they inject in you. But because we're humans and we're so much bigger than insects, it just makes us a little itchy. But you know, for their day to day uh interactions, like that 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 venom really really hits, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, something to think about. Alter Wraith Alter Wraith Queen, let me know what you think of this idea down below. Would you be down to fight giant ants in Monster Hunter? Does eight breakable parts sound good to you? Hey, comment down below if you like my idea for a giant ant flagship monster. All right, so we're going to move on uh, into what else I think should come in this bug-themed Monster Hunter game. All right? All right, all right. So returning monsters and or... Uh, Monsters I want to see in this hypothetical insect-focused Monster Hunter game. Um, and that's going to be a return to all the monsters I, I mentioned before. I mean, uh, shout out to Headhunter455 for letting me borrow his footage of the Vespoid Queen. Because I don't have Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Never played it. Uh, but uh, he said I could use his footage. So shout out to him. Go check his channel out. Uh, his channel will be in the link below. But, yes, uh, Vespoid Queen definitely got to come back and uh make it easier to, to spot I, like have it have an actual quest rather than you have to kill x amount of vespoids before it shows up and then you fight it no 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 just it's a monster now boom right uh bring back nursilla the kadakis um and then uh maybe you can have atel ka come back but but put that in the title updates right have it be like how amatsu showed up in sunbreak or how um Alatreon showed up in Iceborne, right? Toward the back end, make it really strong, make it really crazy. I mean, we got new hardware, we got PS5, we got Xbox Series X we're talking about here. You can make Atalka an even bigger spectacle than she was on the 3DS and or Switch. You know what I mean? So, boom, there's that. Bring Atalka back. Um, maybe Astelos can show up again because he is uh, heavily inspired by insects. Maybe even give him a rare species. Maybe a poison Astelos that glows purple or something. And when you get hit with like a venom filled part, you get uh, you know you get hit with toxic or whatever. Uh, I don't know. It's I, but I think I think an Astelos rare species would fit really well in this game because like I said, insect focused game. All of the monsters inspired by insects or that are insects are in this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? And then also also. Uh, because Sunbreak has has done this, you know, started this little trend. We gotta have a frontier pick, right? And for the frontier pick, Akura Vashimu. That's right. I want to fight a scorpion, which is also technically a Temnoseran, right? Uh, an arachnid. It's the, you know, spiders and scorpions. They're arachnids. They're both eight-legged uh, uh, creatures, you know. So yeah, let's fight. Let's bring Akura Vashimu uh, as the as the frontier pick, right? So that uh, our frontier boys and girls are happy that they're getting the representation. So yeah, Akura Vashimu comes as well. So yeah, all previous insects give. Um, Astelosa rare species, Atelka could be late DLC, and then have Akura Vashimu pull up as well. How is that monster roster sounding? That sound crazy. Don't it sound good so far, right? Like the, the brand new ant, um, excuse me, the brand new ant flagship, all these bugs coming back. We got a uh, an Astelos rare species and Akura Vashimu pulls up. Hey, hold on. It sounded like a good game, but I still got more I want to talk about. So stick around, stick around. We're almost done. Okay, so the next and final thing I want to talk about today before we wrap up is new 
monsters, that's right, new monsters or insects that are, are in the real world that I think would be uh, great inspirations for coming up with Monster Hunter Monsters, all right? So uh, first up, I want a beetle type monster, right? Like a big beetle, it's got wings, it can fly around a little bit, not that great. As for the type of beetle or what like, you know, what kind of beetle this is, I want to make like a fusion between the Atlas beetle and a dung beetle. That's right. Uh, in a previous video, I said I want a threatening monster that can actually use stench. Boom, here it is, right? A, a fusion between the Atlas beetle and a dung beetle. Uh, as far as inspirations go, I'm not I'm not saying like go straight wild hearts and just say this animal but giant. You know what I'm saying? Like make it make it a monster hunter monster, change it up a little bit. But it's going to have big horns that are strong. It can pick up, you know, the earth. And also it can pick up big old pieces of dung balls and hit you as a hunter. And now you're going to get hit with stench. And now you can't heal. And, and I'm talking, I want this thing to be strong. I'm talking Rajang level, Basil Geese strong. I'm talking like high level, like elder level monster that can hit you with stench. That's really strong, but also threatening, right? Give us a reason to carry that deodorant um, and, and make the hunt scary. Like, damn, I got to avoid the stench and this thing hits hard. You know what I'm saying? I get hit three times, I'm dead. So if you get hit one time, you got the stench, might have to fight through it. Might have to, oh, where's my deodorant? Oh, my God. Seems like a fun time. Um, and, you know, because it's a beetle, uh, it could be, it could have its wings kind of closed up. And then maybe when it gets angry, the wings like open up. You know how beetle wings open up. Uh, and then it can start flying around a little bit more while it's angry. How's that for a monster, right? Wouldn't that be crazy? A high level stench wielding threat. Something we haven't seen before in Monster Hunter. Uh, aside from the Celtus Queen. And Celtus Queen barely does it. So, hey. <clears throat> up next. Uh, another inspiration for a new monster. So, uh, another class of monster that is kind of underrepresented so far in uh, Monster Hunter is Snake Wyvern, right? Snake Wyvern. All we have is, um, is, oh my god, uh, what is the name? Najarala. That's right, we have Najarala, Tidal Najarala, and then we also have, um, technically, I mean, it's it's in the Elder Dragon class, but Dalamador and Shah Dalamador. That's it. That's all we got for Snake Wyverns, right? So, and I know... I'm talking about bugs, you're like, but bro, why are you bringing up snakes? I want like a millipede monster. It'll behave like a snake wyvern, right? Because it has, you know, a hundred legs on each side or whatever, a million legs, thousand legs, whatever. Monster hunter it, it up, you know, make it crazy, but have it move like a snake wyvern, right? That way we can kind of kill two birds with one stone uh, in in a way that Dalamadur is kind of a snake wyvern, but it's an elder dragon. Well, we can have this thing, this millipede type monster, that's a Neopteron, but kind of a snake wyvern too. So it'll do kind of some some Najarala like things where it'll wrap around the, the hunter. Um, I don't know what element you make it. I mean, I don't know, but uh, Capcom figured it out. They're smart people. I mean, yeah, so a millipede type monster that kind of behaves like a snake wyvern. I'm down. Sign me up. Sign me up. Um, and then, of course, of course, of course, I want to also uh, maybe eventually hunt down a giant roach, a roach type monster, right? Um, similar to the beetle, it'll have the wings, uh, but I, I don't know. I don't know how to make it like so much different than the beetle monster, but hey, I, I don't know. I just kind of want to be able to fight a big old roach. I want to see people get creeped out by seeing it, uh, kind of like the reaction a lot of people had uh, when first Sunbreak first came out, when uh, they broke... Um, <clears throat> When they broke Cenotaur's shell for the first time, they're like, ew, what's that thingy? I feel like this will be that kind of vibe, but for a whole hunt. When you see a whole giant roach, it's going to be like, oh, heck no. Nah. I'm afraid of roaches, bro. I can't do this. But you got to beat up a giant roach. I just think it will be a, a cool dynamic for an insect-focused Monster Hunter game. And then one more monster slash insect I want to talk about Dragonfly. I want a Dragonfly-inspired monster. And I know... Um, I know Astalos is kind of dragonfly inspired when you look at the tail, but I, I want to lean a little bit more into dragonfly because the way they fly is a little bit different than most things, you know? They can kind of hover and, and, and fly uh, still and zip like back and forth like a helicopter type beat, you know what I'm saying? So we can have a helicopter like dragonfly monster and because it's a dragonfly, it's going to be a dragon element. Oh, easy, easy. Uh, we're going to have a dragon element dragonfly monster that flies around. Uh, kind of like a helicopter. So now, 
Uh, we got the B-52 Bomber in Basil Goose, right? We got the Fighter Jet in Valstrax. And then we can have this Dragonfly Monster as like the helicopter inspiration. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole quest right there. You call it Luftwaffe or something. Call it Air Force. And you got to fight all these, you know, uh, uh, Air Force inspired monsters. I think it'd be cool. So, uh, yeah, that's just a couple of ideas. Uh, looking at insects that exist in the real world. Uh, for inspiration to make Monster Hunter monsters, and of course, like there, I don't know. Capcom has some magic or some guru or some that when they make a monster, they know how to make it Monster Hunter. You know what I mean? So you know, apply that little sprinkle of Capcom magic and make it a Monster Hunter monster along with some of these ideas. And ooh, I think we're in for a good game with a decent roster, bringing back all of the new Neopterons that uh, that Ant flagship that i talked about some of these new monsters now that's not to say uh this is going to be a monster hunter game without like rathalos and stuff like we're going to have some old monsters come back we're going to have some other monsters come back too it's just that uh I, I want you know maybe like a little bit of a focus on some insects this time you know what i mean uh kind of like how try and 3u kind of focused on leviathans because that's the water game you know we still had other monsters show up we still had other new guys show up uh, but uh yeah so that's going to be it for today's video. What do you think about this concept? What do you think about this hypothetical game? Am I spitting? Would you play it? Would you like it? Let me know in the comment section down below if you've thought about something like this. Like, would you want to, you know, beat up giant, more giant insects in Monster Hunter? Let me know in the comments below. I'll respond to each and every comment that hits this video. And as always, people, happy, happy hunting. Peace.